We're, we're really about telling story. We're about remembering from which we all came, and all of us are one, two, three, four, no more than that. Generations back, we farm. We live somewhere on the land, somewhere. And now, with this country, we're down to 1% of the population who's on farm. It was 40% at the turn of the last century. That's a collapse of ecological literacy, of agricultural literacy, of, of understanding cause and effect in reality, in nature, which is us. And that and now it's all the sociosphere. It's, it's internal, it's, it's social. And there's nothing wrong with that, except when that's everything, we got a problem. And I, I've had the opportunity to work in 25 or so countries. And the thing that I, I've scanned over the years in every place, mostly working with agricultural projects, is that people are from the land. Human beings are from the land. There's something about dropping in and seeing anywhere in the world how people and food and language and clothing and, and dance and song, it's all the same stuff until we separate. And the separation is so recent that it's, but it only takes a generation to forget. So we're in the business of remembering what is the story that brings us back home as if we plan to be here another thousand or 10,000 years, as opposed to burning through all the redwood and the salmon and the fog and the soil in 150 years or 300 years, which is the track we're on. Diversity is health, is peace, is fecundity, is resource, not in scarcity, non-scarcity. That's what we're after again. What works as, a, as an opening for young people or anybody else to say, I see hope, I see a way through this, is a collapse or transition. And story is, 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 our, best, is our best option. Um, when I'm best is when I can bring it to a conversation or bring it to, what's your story? Where do you come from? What's your people? What's your food? And people light up. And you can talk through a place where people can have a hope at a local or regional scale, because that's where it's got to be. We have no hope at the national uh, governance structure. The WTO, we're not going to, nobody can affect that. But we can do it locally, more importantly, regionally, because local gets a little too isolated genetically in terms of diversity. It's too isolated. We need a region scale. And we've been working on this idea of translocal that every place in the world has got to solve their own problems. Try to go through a different portal than, let's take a look at the next slide on, uh, slide on how bad it is. You know, that kind of approach towards, <laughs> we got a problem, folks, and I'm, just, I'm out of time before I can talk about solutions. That the, the idea of theater and the idea of opera and the idea of music bringing forth another part of our dendritic mental, emotional system to hear and understand is a necessary piece. We've gotten way too rational. It's an analog to biodiversity. It's let the system, let the parts speak together, and let's see what creation comes up with it, as opposed to another great answer is somebody compose it over there and bring it forth. That works, but it's risky, it's courageous, it's radical to invent together, and maybe we'll see something even richer.